What's up everybody? Prefix Wiz coming back at you with another Unity tutorial. Continuing our series on the Unity GUI. Today we're going to talk about part two of the minimap, which is displaying those icons. Let's get started. Double digit thousands. Minimap part two, icons. Let's go ahead and open up Unity. Okay. And if you're not familiar with uh, how we have this set up as far as the minimap is concerned at this point, I recommend that you go back and take a look at the previous tutorial on the minimap itself. I'll put a link in the description. That way we can get caught up. It shouldn't take you that long. Okay. So in our scene here, we're just going to create 3D object. We're just going to create one cube. Let's set its position at 50. Let's set its Y position at 1 and Z at 0. All right. And then let's hit play. Now somewhere in this scene is that cube. Now we can see it looking straight on, but it's very hard to see on the minimap. So to change this, let's go ahead and display icons in the minimap that represents what this game object is. So for instance, let's say this cube is the enemy and we want this enemy to be, let's say a red dot. So let's go ahead and set up the scene so things will be easier for us to see. So right now for the cube, let's change its name to enemy cube. And let's change its material to something that we can see more clearly. So let's change it to the grid. Let's go ahead and right click on that enemy cube and create a UI canvas. Now on this canvas, we're also going to create a panel. Now this canvas itself right now is set to screen space overlay and it's parented to the enemy cube. But what we want to do is change the canvas to world space. Then hit the reset button to center the canvas on the cube and then change the width and height to two to match the cube. And now you can see that the entire canvas is right here on top of the cube. Okay, what we're going to do is go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees. And then we're going to raise it up just above the game object itself. Okay, now in the panel, we're just going to change the color to red and increase its opacity. So it's clearly visible that there is a red dot here. Now, if you look on the mini map, it's very small, very tiny, but you can see it right there around the upper right corner of the mini map. So what we want to do is increase it so that it's a lot more visible. So all we're going to do is take this canvas and increase it up to five. It shows a lot more clearly right here on the mini map. So if we were to hit play and we were to locate this object and run over to it, we can clearly see in the mini map that the red dot is visible and we can tell where the enemy is in general. However, we see this big red dot down here in the game view and that's not what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and rename this canvas to mini map icon. Okay. Now in the layers section, let's go ahead and click on layers and we're going to add a layer and we're going to add a layer called icons. All right. Once you're done with that, let's go back into the mini map icon. And then we're just going to select layer and select icons. And we want to change it and its children in the minimap icon. Now that it's changed to icons, we want to go to the minimap camera that is on the first person controller. And we want to change what it's looking for. So we're going to change the culling mask. We're going to change it to nothing. Notice it's displaying nothing over here. And then select icon. And notice over here in the mini map, we now see the icon itself. So let's go to the first person shooter camera. This is the main camera that we're viewing as we're running around the game. This is the one that's displaying that mini map icon. We don't want to see that. So again, we go to the calling mask and instead of everything, we want to uncheck icons. So let's hit play and let's run over to the cube and notice that the icon is in the mini map, but it is no longer visible in our scene. Okay, now that we have that taken care of, if we wanted to create one for the first person controller as well, we can follow the same exact procedure or we can simply control D to duplicate the map icon. We can parent it to the controller. We just want to reset its position. So its position should be right at the first person controllers area. And let's say we wanted to change the icon. Simple enough. All you have to do is create another texture in Photoshop or whatever paint editor you use. Change the texture type to a sprite 2D in UI. And over here in the minimap icon, we're just going to go down here to the panel and put that as the background. So you can see here in the view that we have some sort of triangle. Now let's manipulate its transform a little bit just so that we can see that it's more of a directional arrow. And let's change it to green. So in the minimap, you can clearly see that in the center is you, the player, and you are green and it shows the direction that you're facing. Now you see the arrow actually spinning as the character rotates, so does the arrow. And on the minimap, whichever direction that arrow is facing is the direction in which you will be moving. And that's creating icons for a minimap. 
as always guys thank you for watching i hope this helped you this is a very easy way to do it there's several ways that it can be done uh, if there's a different way to do it that you know of and you want to share with the community go ahead and put that down in the comments and let everybody know and if you like this video or if this video helped you go ahead and hit that like button and in either case subscribe <laughs>